I am so blessed to be a follower of Jesus. He loved me before I ever loved him. He's been so good to me. And I, I consider it just a, a real privilege to know him and walk with him and have fellowship with him. You know, the Bible says, as the deer pants for the water brooks, so my soul longs after you, O God. And, and you know, the, the deer needs water to survive and we need God to survive. And you know, Jesus said in John chapter six, he said that his father gives bread from heaven. And, and oh, our God is so good, our God is so holy, and he loves us, this, this God who is absolute purity, the God who created the universe, the God who created everything. This God loves you, and this God loves me, and he has a plan for us. But one of the great, wonderful things about the plan of God is that he allows us to come into his presence and have fellowship with him and walk with him and talk with him and know him. Prayer is a great privilege. But you know, one of the things that concerns me, it concerns me about me, by the way, and as well as so many Christians that I meet, is that we just run into the presence of God and run out. It's like we're in a rush and we're going through a, a fast food joint you know, or something. Give me this, give me that. But God is God. He is the creator of the universe. And, and oh, we, we, we lose the majesty and the wonder and the splendor of knowing Him when we rush in and out of His presence. We, we, we need to realize how much of, of a privilege it is to really know Him and to follow Him and to have fellowship with Him. So I want to talk to you about that privilege. There's an old song that says, what a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. And it really is a privilege. And we need to realize how much of a privilege prayer is. The only reason that you or I can come into the presence of a holy God is because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. It's what he did 2,000 years ago. I mean, he gave everything. It's his sacrifice for you. It's his sacrifice for me that enables us to have fellowship with him. What a privilege it is to come to his presence. And he knows us. He loves us. As, as John chapter 6 says, he's a father who gives us bread from heaven. And, and we need to understand that. So when we come into his presence, don't just say, oh, God, help me with this and then rush out of his presence. Come into his presence to get to know him. Uh, I, I remember a number of years ago, I was preaching in Fiji Islands and I had spoken at a, a, a national prayer breakfast. The prime minister was there and uh, members of the Supreme Court were there and members of parliament were there. And oh, it was just a great meeting, God bless. And early the next morning, my wife and I were asleep in our hotel room and, and I received a phone call. And the voice on the other end of the phone said, Sammy, this is the prime minister. I need to talk to you immediately. Well, I want to tell you what I did, man. I got up, I got cleaned up and man, I rushed to his office because you see, I knew I was coming to the presence of authority, of someone with power, someone uh, who, who had great influence in the world in which we live. But I want to tell you something. Every single morning, you receive a call from the Heavenly Father and He bids you to come into His presence and He says, come, I need to talk with you. I want to talk with you. And oh, you can come into His presence because of what Jesus did, the King of glory, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the Prime Minister of prime ministers, the President of presidents. You can come into His presence every day and have fellowship with Him. What a privilege it is to come into His presence. So why don't you today take some time, get alone, and meet with Him. What a privilege. It is to pray. It's not a religious obligation. It's not a, a fast food run through, rush through joint that you're coming to. You're coming into the presence of the one who has all authority, all power, the one who created the universe, the heavens and the earth. You're coming into his presence. So take some time today. Be still, be quiet, and come into His presence.